Number 18. Jesus states that the believers will be able to handle snake bites and will be immune from any poison they might happen to drink and will be able to heal the sick. Mark 16, 17 and 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I haven't seen one believer until now who can handle snake bites and drink poison and heal the sick. Actually, even religious leaders themselves, which represent the best of believers, when confronted with this, they refuse to drink poison. My brother has given me a deadly poison and he wants me to drink it. <laughs> He wants me to make a show and tell you that it is true what is written in Mark 16, that if we drink something that is poisoned, we will not die. Now, very strange, you see, I believe in God. I have experienced the Holy Spirit and in our family, we have experienced the Holy Spirit as a reality. And the Holy Spirit tells us what is going to happen. And my wife told me, Thursday night, Stanley, be careful, someone will try to poison you. <laughs> if you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that in front of Herod, Jesus did not open his mouth according to the scripture and Jesus did not make a show of the miracles and when you gave me this question today I recognized the devil in you and I'm not going to obey the devil I'm not going to make a show what are you afraid of man aren't you a believer don't worry you will be fine if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them he will never drink it because he knows it's a lie and he will never admit it's a lie because he makes his earning by lying to you if he admits it's a lie, he will lose his job and fame. He will be just a poor guy without income. He's saying that this man in the audience is the devil. But the verse says that believers can cast out devils. Why don't you cast him out? The real victims here are the poor, innocent people who believed in the Bible and followed it blindly. And got severely hurt because of that. Look at the famous preacher whose faith centered on a passage in the Bible promising protection from snakes. A rattlesnake took his life. Matt Wolford, a renowned Pentecostal serpent handler, died after suffering a bite from one of the snakes that he used to show his devotion to God. Allah, 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 Allah,